Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Sergey Morozov. 17 wins, 5 losses, but he's fighting Julian Paiva, who's 21 wins, 4 losses. Sergey, both these fighters have were finished in their last fight. Start with Sergey Morozov, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights, recently losing to Douglas Silva Diandraj by rear naked choke. He was put to sleep, uh, won a decision over uh, Kaha. Khalid Taha, I don't think that's correct, but that's what it says, that's how I'm pronouncing it, and he was also submitted by Umar Nurgomadoff, Nurgomadoff, um, yeah, anyways, minus 140 favorite, which, mm, 33 years old, 5'6", with 67 inch reach, I feel like he's so much more taller than that, but he's not, Julian Paiva, 21 wins, 4 losses, like I said, 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights, losing to Sean O'Malley, pretty bad, honestly, um, 26 years old, 5'8", 2-inch reach advantage, or 2-inch um, height advantage for Paiva, and a 2.5-inch reach advantage for uh, Julian Paiva. I really like Julian Paiva in this fight, Sergey Morzov, his striking can cause, I think, some problems, um, I, I do think he could kind of shut down Paiva if it if it if Paiva isn't able to find the takedown or get his ground game working. But he's very, very good. I'm gonna pick Sergey Morzov. I just think Sergey Morzov striking is gonna be the big difference in this fight. Kyler Phillips was able to really, really hurt Paiva basically through the whole fight until he got tired. Um and then Sean O'Malley absolutely dismantled Paiva. Which, anybody that knows, shouldn't have been surprised about. I have Sergey Morozov. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are picking in this fight. And as always, you already know what it is.